Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going over my art books of 2023. Stay tuned until the end to find out which book is the most important book I feel for my art. Here is one of my favorite books for portraits. It's meant for any artist, but mostly sculptors. But as an oil painter, you're kind of sculpting the face when you're doing a portrait. And it goes into so much depth about the different planes of the face. And it helped me paint this portrait, which was my first real portrait that I've ever done. It goes into the detail of the lips, the nose, the ears, the different planes of the face. It's truly an amazing book and I really recommend this if you're doing portraits. Up next here is the big book of oil painting and I honestly, this book isn't really necessary for me. You can find all this information on YouTube, it just goes over the basics. This one is a really good book for landscape painting and I have a whole bunch of portrait books and I was like, you know what, I need a landscape painting book and this one goes over the importance of like plein air selecting a site. It also goes over how to get values when using color and I think that is super important. And of course, everyone knows James Gurney's color and light this is honestly a great book it's easy to read and it has so much information it's really packed with different type of lights why light fastness is important and using three colors while you're painting and how to control that and honestly all the different information that james gurney packs into this book and it's so easily readable Here is another portrait painting book. This one is also very helpful and goes in depth about painting from pictures and why it's harder to paint from pictures than it is to paint from life. And it also gives you specific colors to use for skin tones, which I used also in that painting. So like for Hispanic skin tones, Asian skin tones, Caucasian, African American, it gives you all of that. So I recently used this book in my last video. I did a master study from Thomas Schaller's book and this has the most amazing pictures in here. Like it's just full of pages and pages with beautiful paintings that he's done. And this is like my go-to watercolor master study book. Next few books here, I don't really use that often. This one is definitely more advanced. I use it sometimes to get general information, but I don't think I'm at this level just yet. This next one, I got it at a thrift store and it's just, um, it has nice paintings, but I wanted it as a master study book and it's not big enough for that, so I don't use it that often. And then these two, it's like to help for color mixing and it might be helpful for someone else, but not really for me. Like it does go over lots of different skin tones, eyes, and how to mix those colors and it gives you a color grid. But again, it's not really helpful for me. I just kind of had to watch some videos and really just do it myself. And this wasn't really a big help. So if you're just getting into perspective, this is the book for you. It goes over from the simplest thing to the most complex things about perspective. Like I had no idea how to handle perspective and then this book really lays it out in a super simple way. And this is one of my favorite books every you see this all over youtube and for a reason because this goes into so much detail about figures and which is something i still want to work on i usually just have used this for the face part and the head part because that's what i mostly do right now but as you can see it has so much information over the body the head shape
When I started drawing again this page, I would have open all the time. This is super helpful to get that Loomis method. And as you can see, I did a lot of studies and quick things from this book. And it, it was really helpful to structure and get a frame on the face. I haven't really gotten into this book too much, but I want to get into it more. She does go into a lot of detail about how to draw better on the face. This was one of my first ever, this was my first ever drawing book. This is what got me from kind of that beginner level to this better level. So it's very detailed, very simple. And now this book is just John Singer Sargent's um, charcoal drawings, I think it is. And it just shows his steps to a portrait and it's helpful to look at his to understand why drawing is an important base before your paintings and he has even simple drawings he's a master and he does very simple things so it's an amazing book to see and finally one that you probably don't expect is the bible Without having a relationship with God, I would have never gotten back into art. And in order to know how to deepen that relationship and how to have a relationship with him in the first place is to get into the Bible. Mm -hmm.